Hello. I'm here to pick up my Compact Logix controller. Yep, I've got the Allen Bradley Compact Logix 5380 right here. Okay, I haven't worked with this one before. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Actually, Mitch is the PLC expert we have here. He might okay. be better suited to tell you about it. Okay, yeah, can you tell me a little bit more about this then, Mitch? Sure, why don't we take it out of the box so we can get a better look at this controller. Okay. So this Compact controller has one USB port and two Ethernet ports for communication. Okay, how do I uh, go about I.O.? I don't see any modules here. So for this controller, you would need to purchase I.O. modules separately, and you can select them based off of your needs. Okay, how many I.O. modules can this one use then? This controller can support up to eight I.O. modules. However, other controllers in this family could support up to 31 modules. Okay, so now let's say I'm ready to mount this onto my plant. With not, how would I go about that to start? Sure, let me show you over here on our model. So with the tabs open, like they are so, simply place it on the DIN rail at your desired location and press firmly into place until you hear a click. Um, how do I go about wiring up power-wise? I don't see any power terminals on sure. here. Sure. You would have to purchase separately two terminals. You have your mod power and your SA power. Okay, what's the difference between mod and SA power? And so, how do they go in this? So mod power is for powering the controller itself and the SA power is for powering field side power, such as your I.O. that you're adding. Okay. How do so I go about putting these in now? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and they simply rock into place, as so. Okay. Okay. And then to wire this, you would take your positive from your power supply and place it into the first positive slot on your mod power, and you would place the negative from the power supply on the first negative slot on the mod power. And the SA power is power wired as similar. So because we're using USB to communicate, you'll see this USB spot just popped up. Why don't you go hit the plus, and now you can see the controller. This tells us that the controller and the computer are communicating. Okay, now how do I get my program to run on this controller? Yeah, so this controller programs using Studio 5000. Why don't you go ahead and open that up into the start menu and this just takes a few seconds to load up. So now that the program is open, you wanna put your program that you created on the controller. So go ahead, under Communications tab, Who Active, select your controller under USB again, and then select the Download button. It's gonna ask you a question, are you sure you wanna download? You're gonna select Yes. So while the program is writing to the controller, I'm gonna show you how to install this output card. So remove the protective cover, and the output card simply slides into place next to the controller, and then clicks in the DIN rail, just like the controller did. Firmly pressed into place, and you'll know you did it correctly when the status light shows green. Okay. Now we can slide the protective cover back into place. Okay. Now the program is done writing to the controller. You can select yes. Now if we go over to the output card, you'll see your LEDs are scrolling, indicating okay. that the program has successfully been written to your controller. Thank you, now I can understand how to run my controller. No problem, and if you have any questions about your Allen Bradley Compact Logics controller, please call your local Warner Electric representative.